rotoscoping in Final Cut Pro has become exponentially faster and easier in the last few years. Gone are the days where your only option was to manually mask and keyframe your subject to separate them from the background. These days, you actually have options for automatically rotoscoping in Final Cut Pro, and today we'll take a look at two plugins that do exactly this. In this video, I'm going to compare Keeper from FX Factory to MRoto AI from Motion VFX, and hopefully give you enough information to decide which one is best for you. First up is ease of use, because let's face it, if a plugin is a pain in the ass to use, no matter how good it is, you'll probably avoid it unless you really need it. MRoto AI has a nice user-friendly interface that's a pleasure to work with. You select your precision method, use a smart selection brush to roughly draw over the subject you're trying to rotoscope, and MRoto AI does the rest for you. Both the Smart Brush Selection Tool and the Smart Eraser Tool use AI to figure out what you're trying to select and deselect so you don't have to do it manually. This saves a lot of time and is very easy to use. After your subject is selected, just use the on-screen controls for the built-in tracker to track your subject's movement. It doesn't get much easier than this, or does it? With Keeper, all you do is add the effect to your clip. That's it. Keeper figures out where the subject in your video is, rotoscopes it, tracks it, and removes the background. There's no need to select your subject or track your clip. It just does it for you. So as far as ease of use goes, Keeper is a clear winner here. Next up is speed. MRoto AI is a lot faster than manually rotoscoping a clip, but it still takes a bit of time. Besides the amount of time spent selecting the subject in the previous clip, it also took about two minutes to track the 16 second clip. This might be more or less, depending on the complexity of your subject and the amount of movement in your clip. You do get a couple speed options in the precision drop-down menu, so theoretically, if you're rotoscoping something simple, it should go faster. But in my experience, this hasn't made much difference. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about this plugin being slow. It's still a million times faster than doing it manually. But compared to Keeper, I guess you could call it slow. That's because Keeper is instant. As soon as you add this plugin to your clip, it's instantly rotoscoped. I'm running this on an M1 Mac Mini while recording the screen at the same time, and I have no problems playing this clip back even without rendering. Just like before, Keeper is once again a clear winner here. Speed and ease of use are nice, but they don't really mean much if the rotoscope is inaccurate. On simple clips, where the subject is separated from the background and there isn't too much movement, both Keeper and MRoto AI do an amazing job. But as we get into clips that are a bit more complex, we start to see some differences between the two. In this clip, for example, Keeper can't seem to decide whether the sign in this clip is part of the background or the subject, so we get this flicker. With MRoto AI, we get to choose whether to keep the sign or not for a much more accurate track. This next clip is even worse. Keeper really struggles here with her subject's hair and even face, where MRoto AI has no problems with this at all. For accuracy, especially for anything other than just basic clips, MRoto AI is the winner here. Another thing to consider is versatility. Where are you trying to rotoscope? Is it just one person, two or more people, or maybe it's an object? With Keeper, you don't get to decide. Keeper is built for one purpose, and that's to extract people from backgrounds. And it does it fairly well. It does a decent job extracting one or two people from a scene, but if you get more than two people, it starts falling apart. MRoto AI, on the other hand, is a dedicated rotoscoping tool, and you have full control of what you select. This allows you to rotoscope people, objects, or even a combination of both. Versatility also goes to MRoto AI. And last, but definitely not least, is the cost. Keeper from FX Factory will cost you 99 US dollars. You pay this once, and Keeper is yours to use forever. Theoretically, this includes updates, but we're still on version 1.0.0, so I wouldn't hold my breath. MRoto AI comes as part of Motion VFX's Cine Studio bundle, which costs 29 US dollars per month with an annual subscription. But that's not the whole picture. With a subscription to Cine Studio for Motion VFX, you get two exclusive plugins you can't get anywhere else, MRoto AI and M Surface Tracker. Even if these are cheap like Keeper, this is a $200 value, but there's more. You also get M Tracker 3D, a $300 value, 11 M Tracker 3D expansion packs, M Tracker Area, M Film Look, M Flare 2, and a bunch more plugins. If you bought all these separate today, it costs you about $1,400 US dollars, and that's without MRoto AI or M Surface Tracker. When you look at it this way, a subscription model makes a bit more sense. At an annual rate, for the price of everything you get with Cine Studio, you can subscribe to this for over four years. Still, as far as cost goes, I have to give this one to Keeper. 
if Emerald AI ever becomes available as a standalone purchase, we'll have to revisit this one. So which one of these two is better? Well, it depends on what you use it for. If you need something quick for social media, Keeper is the way to go. It's far from perfect, but you have to ask yourself, do you really need perfect rotoscoping? If you just want to add some text behind yourself or quickly change your background, Keeper is more than capable and it's crazy fast. But if you need more accuracy and versatility, Emerald AI is light years ahead. With the tools available with this plugin and a bit of time, you can get nearly perfect rotoscopes. If you edit videos professionally and need to do a lot of clean rotoscoping, a subscription to Cine Studio might be well worth it. And you get a bunch of other professional plugins. For me, personally, Cine Studio is worth it, but Keeper might be a better option for you depending on your use. Hope this was at least a bit helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here in the next one.